Akira Shogi, a high school student who loves games and can eat full Japanese sweets, has suddenly been dragged into a battlefield by a mysterious girl who calls herself Mina. The participants are told that they are erased from their family register involving an experiment and granted certain powers. Akira is determined to win the game with his newfound powers and destroy the organization. Armed with a power no one expects and his brain skills, the new period of intelligent battle begins. This anime has about 12 episodes. It premiered July 13, 2021 to September 28, 2021, based on a popular web comic series. Supernatural is the genre. Themes are game and superpowers. The duration of each episode is 23 minutes per episode and rated R and 70 plus for violence and for family. Let's get started into the review. One thing that I like about this anime in general is that it takes more of the complex of a survival anime. It's like the, 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 like the story itself is point, point blank and simple, and it doesn't take it long to figure out that this is part of a death game like Darwin's game, more of like the with my stars getting involved phone, but this one doesn't really involve phones at all involve these participants, these sad not randomized participants, I feel like. Um we're selected for this five second uh death game and it just shows the element shows of the person and the persona and the power and it's a very hierarchy power system. Now we have the main character here who folks you nothing on but actual game like video game the stimulating because you can care less about his reality. And when he's picked for this game, you know, a lot of things and just that he could figure out, you know, without really drawing too much attention to himself. And for overall Aki's powers, when you first dive into the anime, you get more and more involved with the other characters and the cast of the show. And along with, you know, you see how these characters advance the next round and them explain like what their power is. And then you have a different arc uh, between the different power, the different premise. And this anime is very gory depending on like how you view it and like the deaths that are in this scene like all the characters backstory all the characters have really are smoothed out like personality motivation especially the main character you almost feel like how he thinks how he operates like he's a genius when you first see how like he wins any game that he is put in front of him and you know trying to take down the whole corporation that really brought him here you know and then you have the other girl, you have your Akami, a very kind hearted school girl, who, true nature why she wants to leave this game to begin with. But overall, we have these other characters, five sisters surviving it back to their loved ones, you know, and, you know, seeing their, their powers that kind of match the personality, that kind of doesn't match the personality. I feel like this, the side cast overall are very strong characters with distinct personalities, and, you know, I feel like if this does give a second season, they'll continue on a later arc where they're, you know, feel like over in the way the anime ended that their their quest and adventure is not done yet the art style is really good i think the open theme is really good as well i think you know battle game in five seconds i think the promise was there and why it didn't get a good score on my anime list because i think it just hit the nail off the mark but not quite what it was hoping for with the story aspect of it especially with this character here the whole mastermind the operation of kidnapping these people and making them participate in this game um, I think they just fleshed her out a little more and the other people a part of this organization that making these people fight for the fight for their pure entertainment and why they did in the first place. I think it would start off with a good hit. But overall, I think they do really the second season and put out the characters more, especially the ones who survived this 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 trial that they're put through and push out each of the characters and where they are now. I think it would have gotten more better score. They just go more in depth with each of the characters, why they picked in the first place, what drew them to pick the participants in their death battle to begin with, and may push out their goals and motivations like if as far as they get more in the game, like what the prizes were or the goal if they were being released, especially why they were erased particularly from their family registry they like I said in my summary to begin with but all these characters are different ways to why they want to win and what like the consequences were for when they were losing you think a death battle game if they lost you think the consequences would be death that wasn't always the case here they didn't lose by their opponent but definitely check it out by the uh by yourself if you haven't seen it already let me know what you think about uh battle game in five seconds i really want to know your thoughts to figure out who you thought was going to win and what you think the consequence should have been versus the consequence they actually got in the anime themselves but definitely check it out for yourself and let me know what you think but until then thanks for tuning to review and hope you enjoyed it bye